Hey there, my friends, what's going on? Vitaly Dubin is here. I'm right now standing next to Adam Rubin, who is the Vice President of Sales here in Endotech. How are you doing, Adam? Very good, nice to be with you. Yes, so we've so been chatting quite some time right now, and I want to share with you really be, uh, the vision behind what uh, we are doing here with Daisy and how Endotech is working behind the scenes, all the kind of different crypto trading strategies, alpha strategies, beta strategies, and really what they have been doing uh, those years and uh, yeah, it's very exciting. Hopefully what I can do for us today is just give us a nice overview of the complete existing system and today we're really here to focus on DAISY so what I'm hoping to do is give you all a really nice overview of what we do classically, what we're known for and then really introduce the ideology of DAISY and paint the picture for the future that we are racing towards very quickly right now. So Absolutely, so um, maybe we'll start with a little background of uh, Endotech sure. and, and how it performs. So I've got a funny uh, backstory, you know, every superhero has got his own uh, backstory, how he got his powers. So um, I was very busy taking on too much risk with crypto. I've got my own small family office that I run with my wife at home. Mm -hmm. And um, in January 2018, I convinced her that investing into crypto was the best thing that I should be doing with our money. <laughs> so I took 30% of our family funds, which was a considerable chunk, and I bought Bitcoin at the worst time. I didn't just buy Bitcoin at the highest price like an idiot. I also then decided after 30 days of losing a lot of money and US dollar value that what I needed to do was buy alternate coins, altcoins, because of course, if Bitcoin's going down, the rest must be going up. And you bought Ripple. Yes, I did. <laughs> Ripple, EOS, Neo, Stratis. Um, there are plenty that cause me pain. Bottom line was, I've got an issue with trust. So Vitaly, I don't know about you, but for me, everything with regards to crypto is a little bit scary in the beginning. I wasn't really comfortable giving someone else ability to trade for me. It's not like Forex where you're using a broker and this is a different day and age. We should retain control as, as, as people, as clients, as investors. Right. And I had the lucky opportunity to meet with Mitri Gushin, who's the co-founder uh, and managing director here for the company. Um, great thing about Dimitri is he's a complete and utter machine of a man. I really do mean that. Astrophysicist, chess grandmaster, and he is a machine when it comes to his brain ability. But his career history... He's so similar to me, I just found out. He loves to play uh, snooker, he there loves to go. play table tennis, and I saw yes, everything that I love he loves to. <laughs> I'm sure we're probably going to end up with, uh, with some, some fun and games. But the, the great thing about Dimitri that I found for me personally as, as a potential investor was that he wasn't trying to convince me of anything. He simply told me two things. Number one, it's client custody. So I got control and I would keep control. That allowed me to relax a little bit. The second thing that he told me is that it's transparent. Whatever I wanted from the company in terms of which type of strategy or is a, you know, an aggressive profile or a lower profile, whatever it was that I took, they would be publishing live. And so because I hold control of my money and they connect using an API to my exchange, and they publish live. I don't need to trust him. I just need to see the performance. So that's what you did. That's exactly what I did. I also came in, um, became a 5% shareholder of Endotech. I took it very seriously. And I also wanted to negotiate a good deal for fees. Um, and uh, I brought all of my buddies from Switzerland to South of France, Monaco, back again, Guernsey, Jersey. You know, I'm, I'm fortunate to be connected to some great young innovators and wealthy people. Uh, and we have the most powerful truth, uh, I think, in this market. It is exactly 100% of what it says it is. Where you came to the picture of Endotech a couple of years ago? So yeah, 2018 was my personal nightmare. Um, within, within 90 days, I'd lost 70% of my value just before I met Dimitri. It was just the start of this uh, bear market. Yeah, um, so I bought it like 19,000. The market dropped down by many thousands. All of my altcoins dropped down by, I don't know, a thousand percent. I thought they were going to go to zero. <laughs> and my wife was going to kick me out. Like, I don't know if any of you have had a relationship problem when you've taken too much <laughs> on, but it was there. Oh my um, gosh. Su suffice to say, we did a recovery here. This was the amazing final part of the story. They recovered all losses for me. I finished the year over 200% profitable from my original net entry into crypto, which was wow. unimaginable considering how terribly I had did you know, things for myself. Um, and I told them that I would love very, very much to take that VP uh, title here for the company because when I believe in something, nothing is going to stand in my way from delivering that truth to others. Um, my main focus is a bit of a philanthropist. It's not about the money. It's about what I'm doing with people and who I am while I'm doing it. So 
albeit that comes so from obviously you were quite happy and then yeah. it, it was happy and you need some cash to have the luxury <laughs> you know i'm going to be a philanthropist but as a young guy I, I want to be known as someone who delivers on what he says start with that and this team are the most academic proven team ever anna and dimitri have an amazing history they're proper academics phd level scientists with a real history pedigree you know pedigree for example comes from not just that they're successful, but the previous company that they had sold for millions of dollars. And the previous operations that they had are, are still succeeding in the world today. Th those are the factors when we look to know the team. Um, I think if I show you guys some yeah. basics. So yeah, how, yeah. how is it that corporates? I know there is institutional clients, uh, hedge Correct. funds that you are, have been working with and still work with Correct. and still onboard new customers as well. Correct. Right? So as a company, we've got two revenue streams. That's the way that we make money. That's the way that we can stay successful. Yeah. Revenue stream number one would be anything that would be connected to entry. So this would be, for example, uh, a classic institutional client account subscription, which is $125,000 per annual term. They pay once up front, and then they connect on that subscription up to 10 million. From that point, the second type of revenue that we have is of course profit share in terms of asking for a small portion of any results that we make for the client. Yeah. Uh, so in the case of institutional, if I just put an abbreviation, we're talking 125k subscription, minimum balance to trade of $1 million, and an average net profit share of 25%, which we imitate on the hedge fund scene. So we take the best part of hedge funds, which is we, we take a profit share with a high watermark, and we take that every 90 days for classic strategies which gives us a really nice, stable, constant flow. Every 90 days you take your profit off. Yeah, but when I say take, I mean we ask like this. Because we can't take, it's, it's client custody. So um, please, will you be willing to take some profit? Yeah, no, this is it. It's, you know, you get an email, here you go Vitaly, you know, we've made for you X, please do send us our share so that we can continue. So at that point you either kill the golden goose and run away, never to be seen again, I don't advise that. Um, <laughs> or you can pay us quickly because yes, we like money and yes, we've earned it, right? Um, for retail, this was a really interesting thing. We, we, we entered retail by accident. So company was born for institutions. The previous company that we had over had, had over 100,000 institutional clients. So we were carrying over many relationships and wire stuff from there. Um, retail, we had to bump into a few specific people to have a vision there. And the truth is, in retail, you don't normally get good value in the financial online service industry. Normally you pay too many fees. Normally you get substandard results. Normally whatever it is that's being sold is a little bit different from what you get. Um, and no one, even until today, is doing client custody. Only us. Which is shocking to me because it's such an obvious thing to do. Now for those of you listening... What hedge funds are doing or... They don't offer client custody. Let's say that we want to go to um, whatever the hedge fund may be right now. We will need to sign a document to say that we will not touch our funds until at least 18 months or three years time or whatever the lockup period may be. That's, that's how a hedge fund can stay alive because they can project the next two, three years exactly how much capital they're gonna have and therefore they can run these crazy sort of leveraged and futures positions. But the problem with that is, why should you have your money locked up today? Why? It's not necessary. To do what? To feed somebody else's commission need? It's, it's ridiculous. So in a market like crypto, the, the secret of success that we've had here really comes down to the fact that we know it's volatile. Anything that can go up and down by the percentage that this market goes, and I'm not even talking about the other coins, the altcoins, just Bitcoin, that is what you would call volatile to the highest degree. And what we're doing is we're taking that guaranteed volatility, it's guaranteed that we have 5, 10, 15 times a year where the prices break. And we During the last bull cycle, we had 5, 6 times Bitcoin drop 30, 35%. And we went all yeah. the way down to 3.5, from 3.5 to 10, to 12, 12, back to 7, to 8, and you have those stages. Volatility is crazy right now. <laughs> and we rely on that. So we are essentially a tactical breakout method. So what this means in the visual, if I can show you just a simple example. And obviously for, for them to pay that 125k, the, the profits definitely worth it. <laughs> well, first of all, whether you're institutional, as I get back to the retail story in a moment, whatever it may be, the entry fee that you pay, the first duty of our systems is to recover this amount before we ask for any profit share. And with the profit share, we use a high watermark. So 
you will only ever have a request to share actual genuine profits. So for example, if you had an account start and you make money and we ask for profit, but the next quarter we've lost some money, we're not asking for profits. If the next quarter we come back to that last watermark, there's still no profits there, even though we've recovered, because it's not profitable. And that keeps us really nicely aligned with the client. They really respect us for that attitude. We don't have to do it in that way, but we do it because it's better for them. And a healthier, happier client is a more healthy and happy end of deck. It is their success that we must live and share on. Same thing for how we acquire clients. Every client normally recommends another three clients to us. We have pure client referral versus marketing spend. Right. You've noticed that there is no marketing team because we, we are guerrilla warfare agents with a very powerful truth. This will change with Daisy because we're, we're turning ourselves into a billion dollar corporation, which obviously has a lot so of... We'll money. talk first about yeah. the, this part and the tech yeah. and the strategies. We'll then uh, expand on to Daisy, which yeah. is very exciting. So, yeah, so, so in, talk in, about the strategies. So in this example, this brings me to finish off this story about how we fell into retail. Let's imagine that this is a Bitcoin price versus US dollar. This is a fictional price, but I'll make it look kind of like the real thing. So we came up, and then we came down, and now we're coming up again. I think that's an almost adequate representation. Now, obviously, when we were down here at $1,000 or $2,000, this represents a perfect breakout opportunity. This is what we're hunting for an explosive breakout that will result in at least a 10% movement we'll in just price. Just make sure that they see it. One sure. Second. Hopefully. Yes. Yeah. So Perfect. What I'm saying is, at this line point on the chart, this area, the price clearly was breaking higher. Our system is automated. So at this moment, the strategy enters a long position from this point. And no matter whether the price of the market breaks down or whether the price of the market breaks up, our system automatically executes and enters the trend in the beginning of the break, not in the middle. Now, as for what we capture in terms of profit, we will capture anywhere between 50 and 80% total profit using this tactical breakout method. As you can imagine, the machines don't have any emotion. So when they go long and they get into the break, based on the parameters that Dr. Anna Becker and the team code and create with our tech, it will be holding long with Bitcoin after changing your dollars into Bitcoin here to go long. It will be holding long. Now, obviously, as a human being, you have emotions. It's quite hard to be a psychopath. We spoke about this, Vitaly, today about having yeah. the ability to be nuts. So the question is, let's say that you're in that move and it's going to be moving thousands of percent as a human being. How do you know that you shouldn't sell here? Right. How would you know that you shouldn't sell here? How could you possibly get out here? But not just that. Anyone can be lucky. Every dog has its day, right? Yes. But could you do that every time it happens? Every time the market moves? Could you get out at the top and get in at the bottom as a human, honestly? But not just that. Could you also be a good son and a good husband and actually a human being, you know, and eat and go to the bathroom and sleep without 24 hours a day being on the chart? You can't. So that's why people use us. Because transparently, automatically, you connect your account with API keys, which only give us the ability to execute these trades, we cannot withdraw, only you control the money, our system will hold, 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 and at this point our system is looking for it to potentially go further up. But obviously if it starts to come down, bang, we're taking profit. This is the power of a tactical breakout method. This works for rising markets, this works for falling markets, and it can also work for static markets. We have a strategy, for example, which is called Ether, BTC, Beta. And this is a strategy, Vitaly, that we've put to every hedge fund and every family office that uses us. Every balance more than one million connected to our systems, and there's quite a lot of them, use this strategy predominantly with at least 50% of the value because it is the world's only strategy that makes us more BTC without using at all US dollars. So before I get carried away, I'd like to simplify just for a moment, okay? Endotech provides client custody and we provide transparent delivery. So you've got your own private exchange, your own private account, or if you're very, very big and you don't wanna be on the exchange, you have your private over-the-counter OTC account with us. And at which stage we start to connect 
these breakout strategies. Now over here you can see that I've written down some different types. Alpha, beta and leverage. Correct. So three different characters. If you imagine a theatre production, these are the three main characters, right? And if you can imagine what type of characters, the beta character is very, very quiet, very conservative. He might even be an accountant. He doesn't like risk. He doesn't want to lose one dollar of what he already has. Right. But he does want to make profit. Yeah. The alpha is pretty much me in my early 20s. I just need more, more. With eyes like this, I, where, where's, more, the, where's the opportunity? I must There's have. a risk appetite. People who are more, you know, they're, they're willing to risk a little bit more. Correct. Like the ones for gains, that's alpha. Correct. Better is like, okay, let me hold on to what I have, there but slowly grow. And you can imagine how I've built relationships here for the company. I would prefer to start with the beta profile and then slowly add risk later so that we can get to know each other versus, oh, we're going to be crypto Lambos, you know, let's go, alpha only. And the other truth is, when I get home, my wife wears the trousers, okay? I'm the beta in the house, all right? She's the smart one. When I'm here in the office, this is my domain. I'm the alpha here. So we're all a little bit of both, right? We've all got that duality. But essentially, beta is lovely because we only trade long positions. So that means simply, in a miniature chart, I don't know if you guys will really be able to see this, but simply, I'll see. if you zoom in a bit, if you imagine that this is a classic beta, what you're saying is you're going to go long with beta, it's going to enter long positions, starting in US dollars and going into Bitcoin or into Ether, and then we're selling at maximum profit. Okay, so, for a traditional beta profile, what we're saying is we will allow you to be conservative with us because we will only be trading long positions with beta. Mm -hmm. We're not short selling, we're not using leverage, we're not using futures. So that means that when the market goes up, like now, when we're in a bullish market, beta can be some of our highest profitable strategies because it gets the perfect long into Ether or Bitcoin. But the interesting thing is, when the market falls down, we avoid that loss by going back into USD, which is why it makes so, it... So when it goes so up, you long, you, uh, you are in, in the coin. Correct. Bitcoin. When it goes... Uh, you know, hits up, that zone, you sell to USDT, back to USDT, it falls down and allows it to buy money. Correct. And then, of course, over here, what do we have? We've got the increased buying power of avoiding the market loss. Similarly, alpha is really easy. Alpha profile, as you can imagine, is essentially, as I described it, you want to go long. At the top, you might want to play a reversal, right? And then play it back again. So it can sure. go long, it can go short, it can trade a reversal, it can be long, Vitaly, and then for example, let's say that we enter, like we did um, with one of the strategies, 10,800 for BTC, and it went long on October 8th. We ran all the way up through October to November, and at which point the alpha BTC strategy reversed on the trade, and it reversed, I think, around 19K, which was just about the top. So anyone using that strategy got the benefit of all the move up, and they gained more USD on the way down. Went all the way to 19.5, then it collapsed to 16.2. I'll tell you something funny. Did you see the Ether price? So it's 620 and then 485. So did, did you see it was, it was like 4, 5, and then it went ping to yeah. 626 and then straight back down. Yeah. Do you know that the majority of our clients got filled at 626 for the Ether strategy? We are the ones that dropped that market at that point. We got everyone out at the peak. It was the wow. best performing trade. That's why we broke records last month. It was insane. What was the record? Just in terms of total profit share, November this year, we charged the largest amount of profit share that we ever have in company history. And for the year of 2020, um, the average client net profitable result is now over 200%, which is, in a year of Corona, is pretty spicy special stuff considering that the client controls the money, considering that there's no trust needed, considering that it pays for itself, the first thing it does is recover the fee. Yeah. I think it's a fair product. 200%? As an average net result, because remember, we've got nice balances for the clients, we've got them running long, we've got them with alpha, with beta. We try to give a balanced profile so that we can take advantage of any conditions. The last baby, I leave it to last because she does scare me, but for all the right reasons. So, Bitcoin 10x leverage and Ethereum 10x yeah. leverage. So just to put it in perspective, over November, which has just finished, BTC leverage strategy for us finished at 361% profit. 
Wow. And the Ether leveraged version finished at 91% profit plus. So, let's keep that in perspective. If you, in one mind. Yeah, but do the math with me, okay? 125k fee. Let's imagine that you've got just 1 million, not 10 million, as the classic institutional balance, 1 million. At which point the entry fee for the year comes to 12.5% of the total balance that you're running. In a single month with this strategy, we bring back to the client 91%. So that would cover his cost for the entire year and leave that client with still more than 70% profit in just a 30-day period. But do keep in mind that leverage is an enhancement of the risk and reward of Alpha and Beta and Classic. So I must tell you one last quick number before I doodle myself into another reality here with you guys, okay? This is not leverage right here. So it's a Alpha is price. no leverage. This is traded on the futures. Every Alpha strategy is funded in US dollar tether. The beta There's strategy- also leverage. Binance futures leverage we can do. Correct, it. so this is exactly, we have Alpha special leverage versions. So the way that Alpha runs is with no leverage just taking advantage of the opportunity. The total risk per year that you run any alpha strategy, whether it's an Ether BTC or our Ether BTC crosspair version, the maximum risk that you'll face with alpha is 30% on your capital with an average net annual return between 100 and 250%. Obviously, this is depending on the market conditions. No one knows the future. Anyone who says that they do needs to be <laughs> taken to the side. Um, the interesting thing about leverage we're very protective of the clients. One thing that we've never done is blow a client up, and this is why I take it very personally. I'm a bit of a freak. We've got pretty much more than 10,000 clients. I have a problem with my brain. 10,000 clients? Active accounts, yeah. Active wow. client Institutions? No, 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 no. Quite a large majority is now retail today. Um, institutions, obviously, you don't have so many of them out there, you know, with a, a few billion right now to run. But yeah. um, what I was gonna say was is that to protect a client from blowing up, you need to find the real truth with the client. And this is something that I specialize in because so very few people really do that. That's why I really welcome this visit from you here in the office today. And for anyone watching, it's very personal for me to let someone in to my back cave where I've got my very secret materials and sensitive things. It's very personal. And what we care about more than anything else is delivering the truth to that client. So we can always add more risk on as we go. It's very hard to start at a maximum risk setting and then bring that down. Especially if you had a negative month on a high risk setting. That's a very fast way to lose a friendship. Yeah. If, I made, if I made you big promises and I deliver them, but I deliver it in a, in a salesman way, you might let me do another run because you've got that alpha attitude, you're happy to try. But the moment I let you down, you're going to say bye bye Adam and never talk to me again. If instead I tell you that you're your worst enemy, that I can stop you from making those similar mistakes, so I can get to that truth with you about what you really want for yourself, whether it's dollar gains or Bitcoin gains and what the real budget is, then what we do is put together a beautiful custom portfolio for every client. And nine times out of 10, the portfolio would be something like this. 50% would go to our best value uh, beta strategy because it's so safe, so consistent, and the market is bullish. So something like an Ether beta, it's just made about 200% for 2020, and we're not finished yet. We're hoping to break some records. On top of that, you would have another 25% dedicated at least to the Ether BTC strategy, which is making us more Bitcoin, not using dollars. Mm -hmm. If you're involved in crypto, I want you to have a future where you've got more coins. It doesn't matter what the price will be. I can't have a future we've got cash but no coins. What are we doing it for? We're trying to get to that future. So that's why we generate more BTC. And then we're left with the final. There's a special right now in the bull market that people more, want more of of Bitcoin. But you know, you know that the cryptocurrency market has got no memory? It's just like if I asked you who won the last FIFA World Cup and who scored the goals and at what minutes and what the players' names were. We don't have a memory with these things. It's very easy. All the experts come out when the prices are going up. Ah, Bitcoin predictions. But the moment the price is full, where were they when the price was three and a half thousand again? Yeah. Where were they when we went from one thousand to two and a half thousand and back? That to was a golden thousand. opportunity to load up on Bitcoin for for four K, five K. I'll give you my personal opinion. We're going to see one hundred eight thousand dollars for the price of Bitcoin by June two thousand twenty one. We're then going to see a three hundred thousand dollar institutional FOMO pump and dump. 
And at that point, all of our clients will be put on alpha strategy so that we can again, just like in 2018, short the market. That's how they recovered from me. I, I think too, like it, it has a very good chance to, to go uh, beyond 130,000. And um, we'll, we'll, we'll establish, we'll even fall down to, I think, 60, 70 afterwards. I think 20 is the number. All the way back down to 20. That's the fractal cycle. I am a little bit autistic in the head. We're going to come back to that. You and I, we're going to have uh, some drinks on that. Um, but this would be, let's say that you were going to start with me today based on our, our chats and, you know, average things. This is the portfolio I've made for you because it would give us the best opportunity. 50% Ethereum beta. Definitely. Ethereum Bitcoin. Twenty-five percent, twelve and a half percent alpha, more, more. Uh, yeah, so something like a, a, I would say something like a ether alpha there would be great. And then for the leverage, you take the BTC leverage because obviously, big daddy Bitcoin if it starts going up ten, twenty k. But to put in perspective, do you know how much more money needs to be invested in the crypto market for us to be at thirty thousand dollars for the price of BTC? Just five billion more. I don't know, not much. That's a drop in the ocean, considering yeah. that if you go to Twitter and you search billion dollar investors, most so of them think about all a company, Bitcoin. Apple or, or Amazon or PayPal is now buying all But do you, but you know why? Because they, they have a clause as a company, okay, that they have to have at least 1% on all the hooks in the future. 1% of PayPal's total net worth now invested into crypto is their insurance policy against the future where the traditional fiat systems are gone. Yeah? Yeah. From all of this, what we end up with is full transparency, every detail of every strategy, every trade that was ever made before you met us and then some, to today is published live. You don't need to pay us to see. So Real, all this data from the past history, people can see Every detail website. going back to the beginning of time for every strategy. We've been doing this year after year. Every year has been profitable so far. I hope you're listening, thank you very much. <laughs> Trade gods up there. Um, we have massive plans, and that brings me to the basic Daisy. concept of Daisy. So, yeah, I said to you before a funny example, okay? It's the only example I've got because I'm a bit of a character. So, <laughs> I imagine, first of all, you should all realize that I am the uh, lowest intelligent person on the team here, and I really do mean that by some degree. The rest of the team have multiple PhDs and everything and, and all the rest. But what I lack... On the academic side, I make up with empathetic ability. I feel things that other people don't, and you can probably see the way the body moves that I'm one of those guys. <laughs> so the bottom line was, how do we stay profitable? One is to understand that we need to be close to the exchanges. We are many years ahead of any other team that wants to be the next endotech. We are best friends with the owners of Binance, we're best friends with the owners of Gemini, we're best friends with the owners of Bitfinex, Kraken and so on, because we send all of our client trading volume there. Yeah, yeah. But most importantly, what does an exchange want out of their perfect client? They want someone who doesn't blow up their money. They want someone who stays happy, who writes good reviews, and more importantly, someone who pays regular trading fees to the exchange. That's right. how they make their money. Yeah. Welcome Endotech, we produce the most crystal clear, perfect client that an exchange could ever want. We bring the real health to the situation. The client connects with limited API, they gain the stability, and the exchange gains a real person who's invested for the future of this market. So the scalability issues that we've overcome, we spoke before about executing a $100,000 order in this market. If yeah. you were by yourself now to buy a million dollars of Bitcoin or attempt to, believe me, you will not get one price. You won't be able to fill that trade. It's a baby market. But here we've established up to half a billion dollars of liquidity potentially per client, which means that potentially you can bring via exchange or even OTC, which is off of the exchange if you're multi, multi, multi big millions. You don't put it on the exchange or other options, but essentially we can automatically execute on a guaranteed execution. So if our signal says, buy Bitcoin now at 18,396.5, that is the range that your account's gonna buy that coin at. For the full 1 million, 20 million, 200 million. Through OTC. Up to 250 million, give or take, via Binance. The largest client we've got there is far smaller than that right now. Um, but we've successfully been executing for record-breaking sums. Um, it's quite sensitive info, but let's just say that if you haven't heard of us by now, you are going to be hearing about us in the future. And also on that note, 
there are exchanges like Gemini that we don't pay any advertising money to. They just appreciate us and they believe in who we are, what we do. And they are putting our logos on, on their websites and exchanges and saying nice things about us, even though we're not doing any revenue together. Yeah. So that's another indication when you're... Yeah, Mitch told, told me that he, he was speaking with the Gemini Wink. Wink of us, twins, yeah. And the twins. I'm just like you guys. I saw them on the Facebook movie. So obviously I went bright red and started blushing when it all started. But they're just human beings. And they're incredibly smart. And they're, I think they're the world's largest private crypto holders outside of Mr. Satoshi. Yeah, Sakoshi. maybe Vitalik Buterin somewhere. Yeah. They, I think they're close to a billion, I think. Something crazy. I mean, look at Grayscale. Oh, well, you can get lost. But <laughs> essentially, the way that we stay relevant is by taking business revenue every month, 200, 300, 400, 500 grand, thousand dollars, and optimizing the existing. This means that we take PhD driven team that we employ. They go with NVIDIA backtesting. They are doing data analysis. They are doing smart problem solving. They are looking for the ways to make these babies more efficient. But I said the best example to you. Let's imagine that you're a competing company. You're a trading uh, algo, provider, whatever. And we're endotech. Well, how do we face each other? We're in the ocean of algorithms. You're on your pirate ship and we're on our pirate ship and we're firing cannonballs at you and you're firing at us because we just want to stay afloat. The person who stays the highest afloat is the one that wins the most. So if one of our strategies starts to not get the performance we want, we understand that it's manipulation, noise and the sea of other algos. And this brings us to Daisy. I'm sitting down with a conversation with Anna and Dimitri. I'm a bit crazy and I'm always asking for more because I'm greedy, but for the right reasons. I just want to stay busy. And I said to Anna one simple thing. I said, please tell me what is the hidden secret that you've been hiding your whole career? I want the biggest, most insane idea that you've got. It's time. We're here. We've proven it. You've got, ready. To, you've got to understand this, yeah. is a, this is one year after I bought my hedge fund buddies. That's no joke. They brought in millions of dollars. That, that is hard for me. But it was transparent and they stay in custody. So actually it wasn't too hard at all. This is after we've delivered to 7,000 retail clients profitable terms month in, month out for the year. This is after we've serviced those buddies uh, for the institutional balances. This is after all of that. And Anna, she's at her pinnacle prime. This is an artist. Uh, it's Michelangelo to me. That's what she does. She makes pure art with the math. She is very smart. You know, the, the, I can't <laughs> wait for you to have a chat with her. I can't wait for all of you to meet her. She's, she's the mother for all of us here and we are absolutely obsessed with lifting her higher because she's so pure what she wants more than anything. It's not the money, it's the art. She wants to raise us up. So the idea was Daisy. Now on the name, I, I decided Daisy was going to be a good you idea. Made the it's name, stuck, right? it's you, stuck. you made the name. It's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. <laughs> um, decentralized artificial intelligence system. And this is really where it begins for us in the basic understanding of what we want to do is get out of this sea of other models we want to stop having to chase our tails and optimize and optimize and optimize just to stay above the neckline. And we want to be the trade winds of the atmosphere. We want to be able to change global markets. We want our AI to not run on formatting that Anna and the team have had to design and optimize and feed it in order for it to automatically execute. Instead, we want it just to decide what it wants to execute. And I said to Vitaly, this is the best thing. So for any of you that grew up watching Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, nano, you know, any of you that read all the sci-fi books like me, Star Trek, Star Wars, all this stuff. The Terminator. Of there the you go. So <laughs> the future is the AI that does not need us. <laughs> the future that I'm talking about, sorry about the terrible impression. The future I'm talking about is all of these parameters that Anna and the team have to set first. No, no, no. We're now the atmosphere. The system is deciding for itself on the format of where it's going to set those positions. That will result, we believe, in these results multiplied by at least 100 times. We believe it will take our ability, as it stands today, to make 100% or 500% a month with leverage and to times that by 10 to 100 times, to multiply our ability, because therefore we are out of reach of the other pirate ships and algorithms. Bottom line, Project Daisy... What will it take for that to, to happen? Project I know you're, you're raising $10 million. There you please. go. Yeah. So you've got three things mostly. You've got hardware. So um, for any of you that are unfamiliar, when it comes to things like um, getting better speed on execution, you need to get closer to the actual physical exchanges, the actual physical hardware. 
So about three to four million, I think, is on hardware, another three million or so on software and team. And then this is the funniest part, four million test balance, which makes me laugh every time. Test balance, four million, oh, just four million to test. Um, oh, that's a small amount. Well, the the really truth is, is, unless you've got funds to test, you can't know. Unless you've run for a year, you don't have enough data to analyze. It's very easy to say, ah, not working, and throw something away. But you need time, especially with scientists, which is also why I'm lucky that they're the ones doing the job, because I'd probably get sick and tired of all of the math and run away to, for the next gamble. Um, but we don't have much more than that. Like, the goal is to raise half a billion dollars at least to, to, to test with. So here's the thing. The, the beautiful thing is we're not starting from scratch. We've got the existing foundation, and yeah. it's one hell of a foundation, pinnacle, pedigree 30 years of foundation that you'll be using for in the initial Correct. phases it's not like a brand new company saying ah you know come we're, we're gonna make AI together you know now's the time yeah this has been in work for 30 years I pulled it out of that beautiful soul of Anna and she felt willing to release it because our clients are happy and our reputation is perfectly crystal clear and clean and we believe in lifting our clients up before ourselves we value the dollars of our clients more than our own money and we stay here, as you see, face to face, working our asses off every day because we know we've got the opportunity of timing. We know that we're about to take on this market for further British run. We know that we're going to be record breaking and profitable. And we also know that at the peak of the next market, whenever that may be, in my vision, it's next summer, September, October, is when we're going to be talking about Alpha Star for some stuff for years. Just like 2015 and 16, we saw it uh, back then, volatility, yeah. but now looking back, it's like a it's like a line almost. That's right. Uh, right now we're going to see this it's the next future years. Like, okay, what is this Bitcoin 1720? It's going to be like... <laughs> I'm, I'm the guy Small. that... I first bought Bitcoin with my wife when it was um, about $1,000, okay? So I don't know if you're familiar. There's a street around here, Monte Fury Street. It's a really lovely place. And you've got the original Bitcoin embassy. So I don't know what it's like in your countries if you've got the ATMs or if you've got these businesses yet. But here in Israel, in Tel Aviv, um, you had this Bitcoin embassy, and they were charging huge fees to buy Bitcoin, 5%, 10%. I bought there the, my first $50 worth of Bitcoin. It was crazy. <laughs> there, there was a queue, if you remember, queuing people around the street. And right next to this place is the Israeli Stock Exchange. So that was my first um, knowledge of Bitcoin. I'd come out of the Israeli Stock Exchange, finished a meeting, and saw this coffee shop with QR codes and Bitcoin symbols. I'm like, what the hell? Bought the Bitcoin. I was so happy inside. My wife was driving us home. I was screaming out of the window, buy Bitcoin. And, and I bought way, 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 you know, in, in the wrong times and all the rest. But 2018 was a very special time because it almost killed me. And it let me meet my family, which I've been missing my whole life. Together, we represent, I do believe, the pinnacle of what can be delivered in this market. Where we go from here, it's vital that we meet good people like you. And it's vital that the ethos of what we're doing is centrally focused or actually my, my <laughs> battery of my phone dies so we are continuing from this point uh, i said i'm going to take it as a sign that i'm going to wrap it up but what we were saying before is the pinnacle the key concern for us the core of who we are what we're doing what it's about so therefore the core of daisy and everything that we go on therefore to do is that no matter what the story is what the setup is what the partnership is what the needs are the final client, the owner of the account, the person who is giving us their time, their risk, their, their, their confidence, they are our number one. Yeah. We must deliver 100% of what's been offered to them, what's been sold to them, and what's been promised or projected to them. And this is what's made us a powerful company. This is what allowed us to bootstrap the company with no outside investors, no VC firms, no friendly Vitalis to come through and give us money when the times were hard. We took our own money, I took my money, the guys took their money, and we run our own money on the strategies. And when our clients meet with us, they see that we're just normal people. Uh, I'm not here in a three-piece suit and a waistcoat. I, I literally sit and work 20 hours a day because it's passion and it's not work. Um, I can see the passion. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> I think bottom line, I'm, I'm massively excited. For me as a 35-year-old, I'm coming to a very you know, key pinnacle part of my career. I'm very proud of the guys and, and the team, Anna especially. I just think that she's in her prime, if I can say that, you know, not really with regards to the age, but the ability, you know, this is a number three, number four globally for AI. And she is bringing us her best idea that she's been thinking about for 20 years. 
And the last thing I want to say is this. With the Daisy AI. Daisy AI existed in Anna's mind 30 years ago when this all started for her. The problem was is that technology was not ready for what we needed at that time. A lot of people have asked me, Adam, what's changed? Suddenly, you know, you can become the atmosphere. Okay, so what's the big change? Well, technology. What we can do with backtesting, with NVIDIA chips, what we can do with our optimization, with our PhD teams today is legendary compared to what was yesterday or even just three months ago or last year. So um, I hope that this video is the start of many more. And uh, I hope today that, you know, I've, I've managed to give a, a good overview without, uh, you know, babbling too much. But it's, it's a very exciting time. So what can you tell people watching this right now? We're in the verge of launching this, you know. Yeah. Um, obviously this is very very exciting that, that people can participate in this project and uh, build this next level of AI and you know have yeah. the best teams and I can only imagine you know uh, what will happen in 2021 and uh, uh, apart from just the what, what what happens in the crypto market but uh, what you can deliver you know with uh, people around the world can be participating here and uh, getting getting their profits and um, and, and by the way, I forgot to, to ask you about this, um, the profits that are generated. Um, obviously, it's not, go, it's not going to be shop like on a day-to-day -day basis. Like yeah, this isn't, this isn't a day trading. Or... This isn't MT4, MT5, you know, switch and move, playing, uh, you know, trends. Um, this is tactical breakout. So this means that we will wait patiently with no emotion for the opportunity. That may take one day, seven days, two weeks, three weeks sometimes. It depends on activity. Sometimes the market stays flat and therefore there's nothing to trade. But the beautiful thing is you don't need to even watch it. You can set up the account and leave it alone and it will do as it needs to do. The one thing that I'd advise for everyone, if you just want to feel what a tactical breakout method is, go to any of our strategy history pages. You've got the trade by trade history, where we opened, where we sold. Find the data strategy mm -hmm. and open up your trading view, free chart and just copy paste the, the price of the entry onto the chart and see precisely how it took that break perfectly. And then if you like, spend 20 more minutes and go back and find every other breakout that we took. You'll find 100% accuracy. Um, for everyone looking in, I'm not someone from the network marketing scene or from uh, you know multi-level yeah, marketing yeah. and what have you. I, I know that I share a lot of things with you guys, a lot of passion, um, but I came from the institutional scene. Uh, I'm a little bit of a, you know, toffee English guy. Um, you will need to understand, perhaps even if you don't have the knowledge, that banks, for example, work in identical fashion to the MLM industry. How do I know this? Well, I service banks. I have a gentleman who has a bank marketplace. You could say that it's a bank MLM, because it is. They pay a membership to be part of this private marketplace. Inside the marketplace, are some exceptional and exclusive products, yeah. Endotech being one of them. So I understand the mechanism of referral and of network-based referral. When I think about the future of network marketing and multi-level marketing, I'm ambitiously hoping for a future of clean health, finally. I'm talking about seeing a brand that keeps its brand name for good. That it doesn't change its name once a year just so it can keep on being bad at doing what it's doing. I'm talking about holding people responsible, accountable. If you've brought somebody to spend $2,000, $3,000 on the Platinum Gold Elite version and then paying every month and everything, you better damn make sure that they get the value instantly back. And this type of product, if it's put in the first step of that person's career or joining into that membership arena, We've proven year after year, day after day, that it will recover within 90 days any entry fee that you've paid for the product to run, plus produce an average of 40 to 60% profit. So if, for example, let's say is a hypothetical scenario that we're the most expensive MLM uh, company that's ever existed, we're asking members, let's say, for $10,000 to join. Be a bit ridiculous, right? Um, I'm a cheeky Jewish guy, what can I help you? Um, but let's say we're doing that. With this product, if you connect just twenty or thirty thousand dollars by the end of the first ninety days, I've not only had the 
product pay for itself for the rest of the year and let it run for you for the rest of the year. From the profits. From the profits. But you've also just paid yourself back for every penny you've paid on the matrix. Even M&M if you stuff. have 50% or 70% yeah. uh, going to trade, Correct. still. Now, obviously, with Daisy, I am not right now with the specific technical details of exactly how many dollars from each investment are going to exactly which place. Obviously, please do your research. Make sure you understand everything. Talk to Vitaly. Obviously, you know yeah. you guys are there for a reason. We, we want the knowledge to be known. And if you've got a question, that's the best time to ask. Um, but bottom line, yeah, good still. Bottom line is, um, I want you to all to understand something. We don't have outside investors. But this company, you can get shares off through Daisy. You can own a piece of what I've built here through stocks. Yeah. You can own a piece of the best work that I've done in my entire life. You can own a piece of Dr. Anna Becker, Dimitri Gushkin. You can own a piece of what we do. And we've grown as a company since I started in 2018. We were worth $12.5 million. We rose up to $50 million net valuation based on revenues. We're now into the range of 200 million plus based on revenues and the beta and all the classic things. Valuation of the company. If we were about to sell today, thank you very much, that would be 200 and not a penny less. But in the future, in this new year, we are going to be a unicorn. It's that simple. We are still the only client custody service in crypto. We are the only transparent service of that kind in crypto. We are definitely one of the most profitable within the crypto market. And Daisy is about to take our results 10 to 100 times higher. Instantly, the minute she lives. I, I love, I love how you say, you know, that uh, the people through this product, you know, with, within ninety days they can even see. Uh, yes. It can be that much. Yeah, yeah. And also because the risks are known up front. In the situation that you are unlucky, and you join on a month that is a negative loss, which will happen and can happen. We don't win every trade. We don't win every month. That would be ridiculous. Yeah. Obviously, let's say for example on this silly example here. Let's say that here, the system might short, thinking it's a false breakout, thinking it's a real breakout, but actually it's a false breakout, and we take a 2 3% loss. That's the amazing thing about breakout methodology. When you lose, it's very limited, because the moment you see it's not in your favor, the machine has no emotion, it doesn't care. Close, what's the machine do next? It's hunting for the next opportunity while you're still thinking about the trade. That's why it wins. Um, yeah, I, I myself going to go all in, obviously, with the company, with all, all of these packages, <laughs> which it's is, uh, I think the highest is uh, with all the packages, about $102,000. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. It mimics the institutional account with us. So obviously about $100,000, $125,000 on that institutional level. Daisy is going to be quite similar. Um, but one thing I'll say on the last note is that we're very careful who we have relationships with. We're very careful about who we choose to strategically partner with. We have a very clean, pristine reputation. We will always be a software company. We have no ambition to become an MLM company or a, a, a place card, MLM uh, price matrix. This exists, right? <laughs> we have the history and the day to day to prove it. And Daisy really is a tech initiative and it really will exist. So what I'm basically saying is, I'm not the biggest believer in the MLM matrix style of business. However, I do know that the people who have put everything together are the smartest I've ever met. They're the most worthwhile partners we've ever had. We trust them. We welcome them as family. They've been with us here just like you are today, which rarely happens. Not many of you will, will ever see people with people near my stuff. Um, and the, the bottom line is, you know, um, we are going to deliver back to you value. That's what we do. You are the number one, whoever you are, however big you are, however small you are. I will talk to you if you are $10 big in the middle of Bangalore or if you are 50 million big in the middle of Switzerland. It doesn't matter. We just want to deliver what we deliver and help you get the best out of systems. So cheers to that and hopefully the biggest year we've ever had, right? And thank you so much, Adam. <laughs> uh, you, you've delivered so much value and uh, your passion and everything like it definitely like comes it. through and uh <laughs> guys you heard it all you know we're, we're going to do some more videos later on some more interviews for you guys it's just the beginning we are launching december 15th approximately yes. uh don't don't quote me on that on the exact minute but around this time um and uh, it's going to be a tremendous 2021 i feel really that i'm I'm part of uh, a very caring family that uh, really cares about you 
and about each and every every single person here and uh, we're here for the long term which yeah. for me is the most important you know not something um, like we are here to to do something big and uh, and and grow in Daisy AI to serve the markets for years and years to come um, so yeah we're in the very good hands very good team and uh, we're blessed to be part of this community so thank you so much guys thank you uh, let's crush it big and uh, let's have a phenomenal launch in 2021 cheers to that see you soon guys thank you very much for the time appreciate it